and welcome to DIY Crafts. So today we are going to be working with paper flowers. Um, all sorts of paper, all sorts of flowers. So the things that you are going to need, if you want to partake, is a glue stick, a pair of scissors, uh, optional floral tape, you don't need it, you can use paper, works just as easy, sometimes even easier. Um, I have a really hard time with this, but that's to each their own. Um, tissue paper. Tissues, because you know, you might cry. Just kidding, we're gonna make flowers out of tissues. <laughs> Construction paper. Coffee filters. And if you wanna get super fancy, I'm gonna show you how to make a ribbon rose. Um, Although my ribbon supply is very short, so it's going to be a really tiny rose, but I will show you guys how to do it. So, first things first, we're going to do a paper daisy. So things that you're going to need, you're going to take tissue paper of your choice, whatever color daisy you want. Not all daisies are white. Um, some are dyed to be different colors, or there's black eyed Susans, whatever. Um, you're going to take your tissue paper and you're going to cut them into squares. The easiest way that I've ever found to cut tissue paper or to cut anything into square is to make a triangle and then just cut along each edge. And when you open it back up, ta-da, you have a square. So you're going to take your square and the triangle is actually super helpful because the number one way to make paper flowers is from here. So you're going to fold it in half to make a triangle. You're going to fold it in half again to make another triangle. And you're going to fold it one more time in half to make a even smaller triangle. All right, so you want the open end to be at the top here and your folded end to be at the bottom. And I'm going to flip it towards me. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out the shape of your petal. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here. I'm gonna go all the way to the top and start rounding it over. And then I'm gonna go straight back down to the bottom making sure that I don't cut this very edge because that's what's gonna keep it all together. So you discard this stuff, you don't need it. And then what you're left with is a single petal. And when you unfold the single petal, woo -hoo -hoo, check it out. You get this beautiful, super flimsy daisy petal, petals, okay? But right now it doesn't really look like much. So we wanna be a little bit, um, we wanna add a little bit to it. If you have nails, this is your best friend. I usually just take my nail and run it down the center. And what that does is it gives it a little line and an edge to it. And what I do is I run it down the center of each one of these. If you don't have nails, you can take a pair of scissors. And all you have to do is just fold it over. Hold on, the struggle is real. Ooh. All right, all you have to do is just fold over that edge right in the center and then fold it on your scissors and it does the same thing it just makes that line so I'm just going to keep doing it the way I was doing it so I find it easier again if you have nails this is definitely the way to go um, if you don't a pair of scissors works great and then what that does is it just gives some dimension I know I'm sorry guys that's super hard to see um, it just gives some dimension to the petals where you have that center line and it gives it a little curve. So you're gonna do that maybe two, three times. I'll show you one more time just so you guys understand. So you have your square, you're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna fold it in half again. And you're gonna fold it in half a third time. And with the folded end on the very bottom, that's the piece you're gonna keep and hang on to, you're gonna cut your petal out. So go ahead, go all the way to the top, round it over, 
and go all the way back down to the bottom. And when you open this up, if you did it right, ooh, there we go. So for this, it doesn't matter what size square you start with. Uh, just keep in mind whatever size square you start with is how big your daisy is gonna be. So if you want a smaller daisy, cut a smaller square. If you want a bigger daisy, cut a bigger square. And you want them to be all approximately the same size. Um, maybe one just a tad bit bigger and maybe one just a tad bit smaller. And then keep in mind that not all flowers are created perfectly. So variety in your petals is pretty awesome. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue stick. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna take my glue stick. I'm gonna put glue in the center of the tissue paper, which sometimes is easier said than done. And I'm gonna put my other petal right on the top, staggered. So what ends up happening is I get, again, this lighting is not the greatest. I get my petals that are on top here and then you might want to do that two, three, four times, depending on your tissue paper and depending on how big a, um, how fluffy you want your flower to be, if that's what you call it. So, there we go. So I put four, and then that gives my flower some pretty nice depth going on here. Okay, but the flower is not done. As awesome and as beautiful as this is, we're missing the center here. So how do we make the center of the daisy? Good question, I'll show you. So we're gonna put our lovely daisy off to the side for now. You're gonna take a strip of tissue paper. Um, mine is about, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight inches long. You're gonna fold it in half. I noticed that mine is not perfect. It is slowly, it's slightly jagged. That's totally okay. So that's kind of add to it here. You're gonna fold it in half. Just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in, I'm gonna make that even. I'm just gonna go in and cut little lines. I'm not cutting all the way through. I'm just cutting little lines in here. And this is actually a really good way to make a dandelion if you ever want to make a dandelion um because I actually believe dandelions are very pretty and as a beekeeper my honeybees absolutely love dandelions so I digress that's kind of off topic but that's okay you guys all really wanted to know that so you're gonna do this all the way until you get to the end um if you accidentally like me get a little overzealous with your cutting and you cut all the way through don't worry, because all you're gonna do when you're done with this is you're gonna roll it up. And if you cut all the way through, you can just roll it, add a little bit of glue stick glue, and keep rolling. Um, and you wanna experiment with this too. Sometimes people like the center of their daisies to be huge. Sometimes they want them to be a little bit more subtle. So if you don't like this as big as I've made it, by all means, don't do it eight inches, do it a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I have all these little frayed edges here. And now I'm going to start rolling it, which is honestly the hardest part. Um, there is a lot of rolling in paper flowery making. And I will tell you, it literally gets the best of me. So I'm going to roll it all the way to the end. Um, okay, so the rolling technique you can use for many different flowers. Some people do rolled roses, some people do rolled peonies. Um, it really just depends on your way of doing things. Um, like I said, I have the hardest time rolling things and I'm not really sure why, but I... It's all against me here. Um, if yours starts to roll outwards, just squish it back in, totally okay. And what you can do is once you have it rolled pretty good, take that glue stick, put glue all the way down, and then that'll help 
so it doesn't actually start shooting out the center. All right. Bear with me. I told you this is the hardest part for me. I don't know why. I see people do it on YouTube and on Pinterest and it drives me nuts how fast they do it and I swear they're they're photo editing it galore to make it look like they're super awesome um, or they're just super awesome and I am not. <laughs> All right, so I'm almost there guys, I promise. All righty, here we go. And my center came out a little bit more. So once you have your ball, you have one end that looks like this and the other end that looks like this, you can go ahead and fluff it out a little and just, oops, <laughs> just that fluff looks like a dandelion, but this is going to be your center here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this part right here and then we're going to put it right in the center. So what I like to do before I do that is I like to take a piece of wire right in front of me. And again, this is my own torture here. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and fold it in half because I think that makes it a little bit easier and it makes the stem look a little bit more lifelike. So I'm gonna go ahead, fold it in half like this. All right, and then what you can do, unfold it, Put your first, actually, we'll just do this, sorry guys. We'll put this right in the center of your dandelion type thing. Okay, and that's your center. You could leave it just like this if you wanted to, by all means. All right. And then what you wanna do is you're just gonna poke a hole in the center of your daisy. And go ahead and drag that all the way up. Now, if you want, you can leave it just like this. It looks pretty daisy-like. But what I like to do is I like to glue around here and then kind of squish and pinch it up a little to make it kind of um, naturally fold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue around the bottom of this right here. here and the cool thing about this glue stick is it goes on purple and when it dries it dries clear so I know that I'm actually getting glue where it belongs all right so then I'm just gonna squish my finger up top squish it all in and go ahead and just kind of scrunch this on up here sometimes doing it from here is okay don't worry about squishing your flower because what happens is when you're done squishing it you can kind of fix the petals here Go ahead and fluff up the center. And now that is your beautiful, pretty daisy. All right, put it in your hair, make it look all pretty. Um, this is the start of your beautiful bouquet. If you have empty spots here, all you have to do is take it and kind of just pull these off a little. And what happens is that fills that gap there. All right, and then last but not least, what you would need to do is just take your, um, either a piece of paper strip or um, this floral tape and just wrap it around the wire and you're gonna wrap it all the way down and I'm not gonna torture you guys with this because I showed you I have total issues with doing this for whatever reason um, and this will secure your um, your flower as well so it doesn't fall off all right so put that off to the side the next flower we are going to make is this fancy thing. I do not for the life of me remember what they call this. So if someone wants to put it in the comments and let me know what kind of flower this is, I want to say it's like a snapdragon. I really could not remember for the life of me. Um, anyway, you guys can watch this over and over again so you guys can figure out how to recreate the daisy and recreate whatever this is called. For the life of me, I can't think of it. Um, so this one is made out of construction paper. I've tried it both ways. I've tried it with tissue paper and I've tried it with construction paper. The tissue paper one ends up getting tangled on itself when you go to curl it, but it does look really pretty. But I tend to like the way the construction paper one came out much better. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do this. 
This one's super easy, just the same. And like super awesome. You can do this with all the supplies you have at home. Tissue paper you have for wrapping. Construction paper, if you have kids, you have construction paper galore, I'm sure. Um, slide this one over. So we're gonna do this one out of pink construction paper. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take like maybe a quarter of the construction paper and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half here. Ooh. And I'm gonna try and keep it even, but if you know me, I am super bad at keeping it even. So I have this little folded corner here. I just folded it over. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut along this line right here. And I hope that you guys are so enjoying this craft just because it's gloomy outside. All the flowers are gone. Um, unless you have Nestorium, which those are probably still around. Mine are still around. Um, so you have a piece like this. And you're going to go ahead. You don't really need it to be this long. So I'm just going to cut off the end a little bit. Maybe about three or four inches. So I'm left with a strip about this long. Um, you can make them longer, you can make them shorter, it's totally up to you. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna cut little strips all the way on this folded edge, okay? All right, so before I do that, I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna refold it, excuse me, so I have a little edge. And that edge is going to serve as my glue edge. So I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I'm going to refold it so that I have a little lip here. All right. As opposed to not having one. And then all you're going to do, like I said, is you're going to go ahead and you're going to start cutting strips. And in this case, if you cut all the way through, you cannot fix it. So just keep that in mind. Um... This is one of those things that you kind of want to do a little bit slower so you don't mess it up. Ooh, that was close. Okay. So once again, you're going to go all the way to the bottom. You do want to keep your, um, your cuts kind of even, um, but once again, Nature, I'm sure, is not super even, and no one's going to notice if they're all a little bit different sizes. Then, when you get to the last one, we right here. All right, so I have this right here, all the way through. I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more wire. And this one I kind of do have to torture you guys. You guys got to watch me put the floral tape on. Sorry. All right. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Uh, I'll leave it straight, sorry. Leave it straight. I tend to like to fold over just the top just cause it gives me a spot to start with my floral tape. Um, especially since I have such a problem with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the edge here of my floral tape. Uh, my floral tape's a little bit old so the stickiness part is not as sticky as it used to be. And maybe that's my problem, I'm not sure. And so go ahead, put the floral tape on and just start rolling it down. So for this one, you need to do the stem um, ahead of time. Otherwise, it will not work or it won't come out as cool. I'll say that because I'm not sure it won't work. Um, and again, if you don't have floral tape, don't worry about it. Um, construction paper works fine. And I will prove that to you because this one is a construction paper stem. And, hold on, this one is also a construction paper stem. And there's really not much difference at all. Um, if you are doing it out of construction paper, just cut a strip. And unfortunately, what you'll have to do is you'll have to glue the thing all the way down, which is probably what I'm going to have to end up doing because my floral tape, once again, is not really that sticky. 
but I think we can work with it here. All right, bear with me. Again, the struggle with floral tape is <laughs> just unbelievable. Oh, God. All righty. But whatever, this is cool, guys. You guys can totally enjoy your rainy day and chuckle at Jess not being able to adequately use floral tape for the life of her. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick this because clearly it's just not working. And I'll tell you probably the second hardest part about doing paper flowers, if you don't have sticky floral tape, <laughs> is the fact that as you continue to make paper flowers, your hands end up getting super sticky with the glue, which makes doing a lot of the projects difficult um, or more so difficult as you progress with your paper flower extravaganza here. Alrighty, here we go. I made it, I'm almost at the end. Alrighty, yay, I made it. Cut that off, finish this last little bit here. Where I should have my own comedy show. All right, do that there. And then if you want, you can go back and kind of just tighten this up a little because what ends up happening is as you go through, it unravels. All right, so I have this little bit at the tip. I'm gonna keep that as my end and we'll start at this side. So we're gonna fold this over a little here. That's my extra. And then what you're gonna do I'm gonna put this off to the side for a second. Remember that strip I showed you? So that's the strip you're gonna glue. And you're gonna go ahead and glue all the way to the bottom here. So basically make sure you got glue on that whole thing. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna put this into the corner here right there and you're going to wrap it and as you go oops all right my fingers are sticky already we got problems so i'm going to put this down Let's see if we can do this here. So basically as you go, what's going to end up happening is your flower is going to start showing. Once you figure out how to get it unstuck from your fingers. <laughs> oh God. Okay. So I'm going to hold this at the top and just keep twisting it around. And you can see my flower is already starting to take shape. So all you gotta do is keep twisting ever so slowly. I have my piece that I cut a little bit too short here. So I'm just gonna be careful not to rip it. And you're just going to go all the way to the very end here. And I'm doing it kind of on an angle so that it starts to unravel a little bit. The more of an angle you do, the cooler it's going to look. So just keep that in mind. And then when you get to the bottom, you're going to squeeze it so you really get that in there. And then you can kind of fluff it a little bit if you want. And that's it. You can pull it down, get rid of that green stem at the top. And then if it doesn't stick all the way, just go ahead and add more glue. Just because, you know, you want your fingers to be a little bit more sticky. Alrighty, 
So that's that on my stem. Now I'm not completely done because while this looks absolutely awesome and I really like it and I like the purple one and it looks really good together, you kind of need to add the little leaves to the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to take some green construction paper right here and go ahead and just cut a couple of um, leaves out. So what you can do is if you fold it in half, And you fold it in half again. Now my paper is folded in fours. I'm gonna do at the very bottom of the tip here where the pages, pages are all disconnected. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out a stem, uh, a leaf, excuse me. And I get three and they're all relatively the same size. And then all I'm going to do is glue the very bottom and go ahead and stick it on here and kind of round it a little bit. Stick that there. And you'll do that for each one of these here. So there we go, a little glue. And Squish that right on there. I kind of pinch it a little bit. That seems to help. Uh, when my fingers aren't covered in glue. And basically you'll do that for all four leaves until you have it where you want them. Um, if it doesn't stick very well, what you can do too is just take a little bit of floral tape or more paper and just wrap it around here. And that'll help those leaves stay on and it'll also help give you a little bit of a um, more of a stem here okay so I'll put that off to the side all right so construction paper and tissue paper we've made some pretty awesome flowers I do have to say that's like my favorite daisies why I don't know um so the next thing I want to show you guys is coffee filters um coffee filters for whatever reason make the greatest flowers Especially since if you dip them in food coloring, you can make the tips um, a color of your choice or the whole thing a color of your choice or go wild and crazy and do a tie dye flower. So this right here is, um, I think this is a peony, a peony. Um, I might be wrong. Bottom looks pretty cool. This is all construction paper on the bottom, not floral tape. And then the top is just a coffee filter. So I'm going to show you how to make this one. This one's super fun. So here we go. We have our round coffee filter. We're going to fold it in half. Make sure it's even. And fold. And just like the tissue paper, we're going to fold it in half again. Okay, we're going to fold it in half a third time. And we're going to fold it in half one more time. And once you fold it in half four times, your coffee filter that started off this big should be this big. And then all you're going to do is you're going to cut off the top at a rounded edge. Although it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to open it up once and you're going to cut down that line right there. And you want to cut down the line, leaving quite a bit at the bottom, but not too, too much. And then you're going to fold it back again. And then from here, you're going to cut three lines in here. So we're going to go ahead and cut one. Oh, sorry, two, two, one, two, three. Now you can roll these edges if you want, or what you can do is just go ahead and scrunch them up. So for each bundle, you're gonna scrunch it, squish it, twist it, kind of make it really messy. Same thing, scrunch it, twist it. You're basically just trying to give it a little character and then I'm gonna do the same thing here so that I have really weird 
twisted edges here, okay? And then what happens is when you unfold this, very carefully, you get this scrunched up flower type thing, okay? So the only thing that you gotta go back and look at is on a couple of them, you'll have to cut this piece right here. So if you fold it in half, that piece is connected. So we wanna just connect that. So we're just gonna go ahead and slice it right down the center so it's convenient with all the rest of them and make sure that you don't have any more like that. And I do, I have two. And then that's it. And then you can kind of squish those up again too. And there we go. So you're going to do this maybe six to eight different times. And each time you're going to make it a little bit smaller. So when you're done, you have a bunch of these. And you're going to start from your smallest. Wee. To your largest. So I have a bunch of these. They're all different sizes. If I put them up against each other, they're all different sizes. And again, I wanna go from my smallest to my largest. So once again, you need wire. Are you getting a theme here? Like the number one thing you need throughout this whole thing is wire. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat here and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut a fairly good strip of wire and I have a thing of beads and what the beads are going to help do is once I put this in the center of my wire, I'm going to fold it over and that bead is going to help prevent anything from going into my coffee filter. So basically whatever I put on this is going to stay. Um, you won't see the bead but it's gonna help make sure that whatever I put on here isn't gonna pop off. All right, so my first one, I'm gonna get rid of my bead. I'm gonna open this up. Go ahead and open it up all the way. Okay. I already see that I have this piece, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that right down the center. And I have one more here that just needs to be trimmed, so I'm going to cut that down the center as well. And then I can open this all the way up. Alright, so I have this wild and crazy thing going on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm gonna put glue in the very center, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this wire through the center, go all the way up to the bead, and then I'm gonna squish it. Okay, just like that. And I'm already starting, you can see it already, it's already starting to look pretty fantastic. So same thing, you'll open this one up, Go ahead and cut that piece that didn't get cut when you did it because it's on the fold line. Open it up all the way. Put glue in the center. A good amount of glue, don't be shy. Go ahead and stab your wire through the center. Bring it all the way to the top and squish it. Don't be shy about squishing it either. Feel free to get kind of crazy. All right, nice and squish. Starting to look even cooler. You're getting it more and more. Just leave that there so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna open up my next one. Carefully. I'm gonna fix my center hold. And open this up some more. All the way. 
check it out. Pretty wild. I'm going to put a lot of glue in the center. And go ahead and stab my wire through that center hole. And bring it all the way up to the top. And squish it. And if you want to stop there, you can stop there and leave it just as it is. Or you can keep going. It's totally up to you. It depends on how big you want it. So this one is fairly tiny. This one's out of control. <laughs> so you can keep going as many layers as you want. You don't have to have a bunch of layers. It's totally up to you how big you want it. I really like this one. I think it looks fantastic. Um, that's up to you. All right. And the last flower I'm going to show you guys how to do. Put that off to the side. Is a tissue flower. So what you're going to want to do. You have a tissue. This tissue, they're off the side. You don't need the glue stick anymore. So we'll put the cover on that for now. This tissue actually separates into several different pieces. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it down the center. And I'm gonna put these two layers on top of each other. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down the center again. And if you fold it, you'll find the center easily. Cut that center. All right. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer them on top of each other and then I'm just gonna squish them. Like this, like a little bow tie. And I'm gonna take some wire, again. I'm gonna cut the wire. And then I'm going to fold the wire in half. And then squish my tissue right in there. And go ahead and twist it so it's nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. I can straighten this out and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up one layer at a time and what this is gonna do this is gonna make a carnation so you're just gonna pull up one layer at a time if you don't have tissues tissue paper works just as good one layer at a time you might want to just pull it up like this And here we go. So I've gone ahead and pulled up one side, and now you're going to do the same to the other side. You're just going to keep pulling up one layer at a time. One layer at a time. And this works great because the benefit of this is your flower is actually soft because the tissue is soft. Um, so it makes it look a little bit more authentic. And then I'll just pull this side up again. One more layer. All right, and then you can just fluff it. And so what you can do, you can leave it like this. Or what you can do is push it all up to the top, take your scissors, and kind of just trim it a little bit. And what this does is it squishes the paper together and gives it a totally different look. So once that's it, it's all even. And then I can just fluff it back down, fluff it out a little. And I need to put a little bit here, a little bit here. And there's my carnation. And then the only thing that you need to do for this, because if you don't do anything, it's gonna be separate right here. You want it to stay squished like this. Floral tape. <laughs> so you're gonna take your floral tape and you're just gonna wrap it around the bottom here. So you wanna start on the flower, 
wrap it around. And then work your way down to your, um, your wire. And that actually works really well and makes the tape a little bit easier to work with because you are spinning the top of the flower. Spin it all the way to the bottom here. And trim it. And that's it. So the bottom is green right there. And then you can fluff it. And the cool thing about this, again, just like the coffee filter, is if you dip the, if you push it together and you just dip this part in um, food coloring or some type of dye, what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna color just the tip. And that's what really makes it look like a carnation. Um, so pick whatever color you have. And that's it. So that is paper flower crafting. We made a carnation. We made a peony of sorts, a daisy, and then whatever this is called, snapdragon. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do want to try this craft at home, you either need construction paper, tissue paper, um, coffee filters, or a tissue. You can use toilet paper too, or a paper towel. Either or will work great. So I hope that you guys try this at home. If you do end up trying it and re-watching the video, show us your pictures. Let us know how you did at home. Um, and let me know if you struggled as much with making the stems as I did, and maybe I'll make myself feel a little bit better. <laughs> all right, until next week, I will see you guys all then. Um, we are going to continue our paper crafts next week with some um, paper quilling. So maybe we'll make a really jazzy pair of earrings, a necklace, or some really cool 3D painting. So next week, more paper. Bring it on. Paper crafting here to become. Until then.